your discretion. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra, and I wanted to share with you my motovlogging setup for 2014. I will be using the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. Uh, the Black Edition is the one that comes with the Wi-Fi remote control. It shoots up to 4K video modes, although typically I'll be shooting in 1080p, 30 or 60 frames per second. Uh, the reason that I went with the GoPro was mainly because of this little product right here. This is the Sina GP10 Bluetooth backpack for the GoPro. And what it allows you to do is, along with a Bluetooth device such as my Sina SMH10 right here, record through Bluetooth the audio for your motovlogs. Now, the way it attaches is just like any other GoPro backpack. As you can see, uh, for simplicity here, I removed the side cover. And you can see the USB, the HDMI, the SD card. How it works typically, there is a interface port on the back of your GoPro. Now, this, also, just to let you know, this will work with all GoPro Hero 3 and 3 Plus models, uh, silver, white, black, whatever. And it attaches just like every other GoPro backpack does. Clips on the side here and forces down and pops right in. Um, how it's a little bit different is there's really no interfacing going on between the backpack and the camera itself. And it doesn't really add too much um, of the size. But what you'll notice right here is there is the ports right here are lined up. And what you can do is you're going to use this little piece right here. Now this little piece is what I'm just going to call it an audio bridge. And it goes between the Cena backpack and the GoPro itself. And this port right here is where you would typically find your microphone port on a GoPro. So on the back, you can see it's kind of foolproof. You have your two arrows, you line them up, you push them in, and that's it. Your Hero and your Cena are now linked and ready to go. Now the first problem you're going to notice is that your standard waterproof case, your waterproof housing, is not going to work. The waterproof housing does not have the uh, size or the allowance for that little extension audio bridge piece. So while some people have cut it open, um, Cena will be coming out with one that's made for it. But as of right now, what they ship you is this. This is very similar to what GoPro calls the frame, and I'll show you how this works. This frame has a, a cutout in it right here to accommodate the extension piece. So, you simply pop this in here, and I'll be honest with you, 90% of the time I pop the Wi-Fi on as I'm doing this, and that's it, it's in. The only reservation I had is that your GoPro is now not protected, so I borrowed one of these from Mark, and that will protect the lens now. So this is how I've been working it, this is how I've been running it, um, but Cena will be coming out with something, hopefully within the next few weeks, a modified uh, waterproof case that you can pop it right in. So how does it work? On the back, there are a number of buttons. You have an on-off button right here for power for the unit. To the right of it, you have a second on-off, and what that does is it turns the uh, GoPro mic on and off. So you can have the Cena feeding... Um, actually feeding audio at the same time the GoPro is feeding audio. <clears throat> now, um, I guess if you're not, if you're walking around or going very, very slow speed, it'll work fine to have that ambient noise. Uh, on a motorcycle, you get way too much wind noise, and we found that it just wasn't worth it. Uh, there also was a pairing button here, which <clears throat> allows you to pair to your Bluetooth and also switch between audio modes. More on that. <clears throat> you have an indicator light, which... It'll start flashing once it's paired up. Um, it's not currently paired right now because my Cena is not connected. But pairing it is super, super easy. Okay, I do have my Cena SMH10 mounted on my um, RF1100 Showy. I'm going to turn that on and I'll let you hear the voice prompts. Hello. First thing it's going to do is connect to my phone. 
phone connected. Okay. Just received an alert that it's connected. Now I'm going to turn on the GoPro pack. I should turn it off. And I'll turn it back on. GoPro pack connected. UHD voice mode. Okay, now right now it is paired on in uh, UHD voice mode. And UHD voice mode is the ultra high definition mode. It's CD quality. If you want it to kick it into the other mode, all you do is push the button once. Normal voice mode. And right now it's in normal voice mode. Um, recording couldn't be any easier. It's typical GoPro fare. You have your record button on top. Let's power the unit on. Okay, I am in video mode, as you can see. And recording it, if I went to record, it is recording right now, and it's recording my voice in normal mode. Okay, so right now I am recording in normal voice mode. This should give you an idea of what the audio is like in normal voice mode. I would press it into UHD mode. UHD voice mode. Okay, right now it's in UHD voice mode. So you're going to get my voice um, in ultra high definition. Okay, right now I am recording in UHD ultra HD voice mode. This will give you an idea of what UHD voice mode is like right now. What I like about it, no wires, obviously. You don't have to worry about any wires at all. Um, there's no microphone, there's no nothing, nothing getting in the way. Limitations. UHD ultra high definition voice mode is only available currently in single user mode. Once you go into conference mode, it, def it defaults right back into normal voice mode. Um, I'm hoping that Cena will release this enhancement in a future firmware upgrade. Um, my SMH10, I think I've had it for, I don't know, six months, and I think it's upgraded the firmware three times. So I'm very optimistic about that. That would really make this a winner in my book. Um, normal mode is not bad, but UHD is just so much better. Uh, another limitation, you can't record phone calls. When your, when your Cena is Bluetooth to your phone, it's not going to Bluetooth to the uh, GP10, so you can't record your vo your phone calls. Um, I did buy one of these. It's a cheap little flexi mic. Uh, I'm going to be using this along with uh, the GoPro. Uh, what's it called? Mic adapter for those rare moments when I do need to use it. I'm thinking about some of those uh, long distance dual vlogs. I'm going to use that. But for the most part, this is going to be my motor vlogging setup, and I'm very, very happy with it. Because of the way the frame is, you cannot have access to the uh, SD card or any of the memory. So you have to remove the camera from here, pull the audio bridge off, and then can connect it to your computer to download any footage. One positive is that this Cena backpack works off of its own power. It does not use power from the GoPro, which was a big concern. What's a plus is, if you plug in the Cena to charge it, it also will charge the camera, which is great. You don't have to worry about charging two things. Um, but like I said, you can't, you don't have access to it. What I'm hoping is that once they come out with the um, uh, waterproof case, I will pop, be able to pop it in and out a lot faster and not have to take it out of this frame case every time I want to remove take footage out. So let's see how it looks on the helmet. Okay, what I've done here is with the whiteout, you just line up the lines and tighten her down. She's perfect. And better, best yet, if I ever want to use the uh, microphone, you can see it'll just kind of pop right in there. Um, but it's great. I mean, this setup has worked really well. I don't feel any weight on the chin bar itself. I was a little concerned about that. But all in all, this setup should do exactly what I need it to do. And you can see it right there. Um, it's nice and straight, it's nice and strong, it's nice and true, and I think for what I need,
motovlogging setup that I'm going to have for 2014. I'm really excited about it, and I'm really excited about you know future enhancements for it. So if you're considering buying this, I would recommend it. I think it's great. I think it's compact. And uh, yeah, any questions at all, just you know put them down in the comments below. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to do my best to answer it. All right. All right. Safe, everybody. See ya.